then I told the med that it. Get on the ground before I pepper spray you! Excuse me, officers, can I talk to you for a sec? Sure, come on in, son, have a seat, yeah. I'd like to report a sexual assault. Okay, who were the parties involved? I can't believe I'm saying this. It was myself and this girl here. Her name's Harley Paris. We work together. All right, well, we got a confession. Cuff him, Tim. You have a right to remain silent? Wait, what? No, 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 no. She's the one who sexually assaulted me. I'm the victim here. Wait, you were sexually assaulted? <laughs> Yes. This woman right here in this picture sexually assaulted you. Yes, how many times do I have to say it? I just want this to be over. What are the next steps? Okay, well, we're gonna need you to elaborate a little more before we can take further action. How exactly did this woman right here sexually assault you? Okay, be brave. It all started at my audition for the role of Dolphin Boy in the new superhero movie that's coming out. It was one of the best auditions I ever had. And apparently the casting director and producer for the film Mrs. Paris thought so too. With the trident of passion and love. So stay back, Sharkbot, because I'm the king of this ocean now. Ah! Ah! And scene. Wow, Matthew, I'm just going to come out and say it. That is the best audition we've had all day. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Paris. Get ready for your life to change. You are about to be our new dolphin boy. Oh my god, Mrs. Paris, this is amazing. It's always been my dream to play Dolphin Boy. But before we can make your role official, you're gonna have to do something for me. Just to make sure you're the right fit. <sighs> um, okay, what was the thing you had in mind, Mrs. Paris? I'm gonna need you to let me give you a lap dance. What? I don't understand. I did just change your life and make you the new Dolphin Boy. The least you could do is let me give you a lap dance in this audition room. Now, do you wanna be Dolphin Boy or not? Um. Yes, I, I do. Good. And then she proceeded to strip down into nothing but a G-string and nipple tassels and gave me one of the dirtiest lap dances I've ever gotten. Wow. I know, right? Sometimes I can't even believe it myself. Okay, so let me get this straight. You go into this audition room. And this woman offers you the role of a lifetime. And then she proceeds to give you a lap dance and nothing but a G-string and nipple tassels? Yes. Okay. I'm a little confused. What exactly do you want us to do here? Did you not just hear me? She sexually assaulted me against my will. And that wasn't even the worst part. Oh, it gets worse. How so? So after I got the role as Dolphin Boy. Oh, you don't mind. I'm gonna record this for evidence. It's a great idea, Tim. Yeah, record it for evidence. Uh, continue and uh, make sure not to leave out any of the details for the evidence. We had just finished shooting the last day of Dolphin Boy. I was changing in my trailer, getting ready to leave, and that's when I heard a knock on my door. Uh, uh, don't come in. I'm changing. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey! Don't worry, Matt, it's just me. I don't mind. Okay, well, I kind of do mind, Mrs. Paris. I'll be quick. I'm on the run anyway. I just had some exciting news to tell you. What did you want to tell me? I just got off the phone with the executive producers, and we want to offer you Dolphin Boy 2 and Dolphin Boy 3 for double your quota. Oh, my God! Mrs. Paris, that's amazing! Thank you! Of course. But before we can make it official, I'm going to need you to do something for me. What do you want me to do? I want you to let me go down on you. <gasps> what? Mrs. Paris, this is making me very uncomfortable. Fine. I'll let them know you're not interested in Dolphin Boy 2 or Dolphin Boy 3. Mrs. Paris, wait. I'll let you go down on me. Just please make it quick. Don't worry. I'll make it quick. Uh, and then she proceeded to go down on me for 15 minutes straight. Wow. Oh my God. That's insane. I know, right? Sometimes I can't even believe it myself. Okay, I'm sorry, but I have to ask for investigation purposes. You're not a homosexual, are you? No, I'm straight. Why? Okay. Okay, good. I, I just needed to clarify. So let me get this straight, because I'm a little confused. Right. So you're telling me this woman right here came into your trailer, offered you Dolphin Boy 2 and 3, double your quota, and then she proceeded to go down on you? Yes. Well, I'm a little confused, son. What exactly do you want us to do about this? What do you mean? I want you to arrest her for sexually assaulting me. Right, I understand that, but I just don't see how your story, as constructed, is gonna hold up in the court, son. What? 
Okay, well, I haven't even gotten to the worst part yet, so buckle up. Oh, it gets better. I mean, worse. This... It gets worse. How much worse does this story get? It was April 22nd, 2022. We had just finished filming The Last Dolphin Boy, and I thought all of these sexual assaults would be over. But I was wrong. I was getting ready for bed when I received a text from Mrs. Paris late at night. She said she wanted me to meet her at her house in the Hollywood Hills for some big business meeting. At first, I thought it was weird because I received the text so late at night, but I was young, I was naive, and I figured, hey, it's Hollywood. Maybe people have meetings at this time. So I got ready and went. It was 2 a.m. by the time I got to Mrs. Paris's house in the Hollywood Hills. I was nervous, but I was also eager to find out what this big business opportunity was all about. But when I walked into her room for the meeting, I realized that Mrs. Paris had other plans in mind. Hello? Mrs. Paris? Matthew, huh? thanks for coming by so late. Of course, Mrs. Paris. Uh, what was it that you wanted to talk to me about at two o'clock in the morning? Well, take this. Why are you giving me alcohol? Because we're celebrating. I just talked to the studio and they want to give you a 10 picture deal. You're going to be set for life. Oh my God, Mrs. Paris, this is amazing. Yes, cheers. cheers. Wow. Uh -huh. Drink it all up. Oh, good boy. Oh, that's strong scotch. Uh -huh. Well, this is great. But in order for us to make it official, I'm going to need you to do something for me. God, now what, Mrs. Paris? Did you know I have a twin sister? Victoria Paris? Hey there, dolphin boy. Heard you got a pretty big sin. Before we make it official, I want you to have a threesome with me and my twin sister. All right, that's it, Mrs. Paris. No more. I'm not selling my soul for this industry any longer. Then you'll never work another day in Hollywood again, mister. That's right. Now get back here and let me and my twin sister ride you like two cowgirls riding a big bull. Fine. I'll have a threesome with you and your twin sister. Just please be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> And then they proceeded to ride me like two cowgirls riding a big bull all throughout the night. <laughs> well. I know, right? So what are we going to do? How are we going to arrest her for everything that she's done to me? All right, son. Let me clarify this to really get this straight in my own head. So you're telling me that this woman right here invited you to her house in the Hollywood Hills. And then she offers you the role of a lifetime. And then her and her smoking hot twin sister rides you through the night like two cowgirls riding a bull. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I, son, I just don't see how any of this story is gonna hold up in court because what you just explained to us is every man's dream, am I right? It's my dream. To be honest, if anything, you seem a little ungrateful. What do you mean? You're not gonna arrest her? You're just gonna let her get away with giving me a lap dance and going down on me and making me have a threesome with your twin sister? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Basically, I mean, if anything, yeah. I feel like you should be thanking her. We should be arresting you. Are you sure you're not a homosexual? This system is broken. This is why victims like us never come out. What the hell is wrong with this generation? I have no idea. You might send me those voice recordings. Way ahead of you. All right, great. I'm gonna be in my office. It's gonna be about 45 minutes. Don't disturb me.